Hey, everybody. Live from Cebu City. The Quest Hotel. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, guys. How's your day today? I know it's not day day, it's night there. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's afternoon it's or afternoon. evening. It's afternoon. Uh, yeah, it's afternoon. It's coming evening. Yeah. Okay. The came on today. A lot of people have been asking me about the shooting or the murder of that American here. I put a link uh, in the description box below. Anybody coming in uh, early can go into the description. I have four links, and they're all basically the same story. The best up-to-date information is the one from uh, the Manila uh, news. So I'm going to wait a few minutes so we get some people in the house before we start talking about this subject and a few other things. How our life is uh, going to crap here. Let's see. Let's see who's in the house. Giovante, of course. How you doing, buddy? Ice cream man from Oregon. Up early. We're up early here. What is it there? It's seven, four, four in the afternoon there. Albert West from Las Vegas. Another, another homeboy. You know, my hometown is Cleveland, uh, but I've been in Las Vegas from 1997 until uh, 2019. I lived yeah. near the South Point Casino. Giovanni, hey, Janet, going to go live? It's, no, she's not. Not on this. Um, <laughs> not on this one. It's Mike's live, guys. It's my live, guys. Uh, where's chicken? I don't know, but, you know, this is... Uh, unscheduled. Yeah, you know, I just posted it last night that we're going to go on today. Yes. yes. Uh, David Galloway. Good evening. Good. Hello. How you doing, David? Let's see. Quick question. How soon did you start your I post the one before? I started that a year before I left, uh, Giovanni. And the reason was I moved from Las Vegas to New Mexico. And that was a temporary address there. Uh, so I wanted to get that set up and have my banking all sent there. You know, I, I, uh, used my home address as my address for the banks, but my mailing address, uh, was I post the one and I had all my statements sent there. And I also had all my debit cards sent there. You know, I canceled, not canceled, but said they were either lost or, um, destroyed and I needed new cards. And uh, I had all my debit cards sent there. I wanted to make sure the system worked with the banking before I left and establish it. So it, it was a year, but uh, I would give it, a, if you have time, get it early. And make sure you sign a form. I don't know the form number right now, but there's a form for uh, them to forward your mail to you internationally. Um, there's a, form the post office needs you to fill out and have notarized and i post the one they know how to do that you can do it online uh, but if you have a mail address uh if you use an i postal one that is close to you uh, you can go in person and, and get that done uh raymond williams hello how are you doing go to you raymond and i, I go back giovanni on this for the members only, people who are members, I have a video on uh, iPostal One. Uh, I also have an old one in the archives of um, uh, getting mail that I did, I think, over a year ago. Uh, but I have one video about iPostal One uh, that's public, and I have one that's private, or not private, but members only. Raymond Williams, how you doing? Hello, Raymond. Magic Mike D, how you doing? Chicken legs, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. Life is always full of mysteries. Jude K, how you doing, buddy? Travel America, Barry J, hey, what about me? What about you? What about you? How you doing? How are you? 
Mrs. RM, I hear about all that is well, it's really sad why I had that ended up with a death. Yes, yes, I was. We'll get into that in a few minutes here. Um, uh, probably about five, about five more minutes, and I'll get into that. Humbled expat. Looks like Quest Hotel. I come for breakfast. Yes, the only place we stay when we come up. It is the Quest Hotel. Breakfast buffet. We didn't get the breakfast buffet well, yesterday. We went and we met with <laughs> Heidi and her attorney. I, I did a video uh, with the attorney. We talked about a bunch of stuff. He's a young guy. He was really nervous, uh, but he did a great job. Uh, he answered a lot of questions. And he also answered a lot of questions for me off camera uh, that I'm going to be sharing with you in the uh, video upcoming. My next video is going to be finding peace in the Philippines. Can one find peace in the Philippines? We are doing great, Jude K. We are doing great. Let me see here. Just traveling. Hello, Mike from Palm Springs. We'll be going soon, maybe in August. Is that a good thing? Yeah, there's really no bad time to come, except next week. We'll talk about the, the dangers of coming during Holy Week. By the way, good morning, Mike and Jana. Well, thank you very much. Hello from Turlock, California. It's As always, thanks for making informative videos. Well, thank you very much. Tom, for homeboy. From Cleveland. I'm from the west side of Cleveland. I grew up near the airport called the West Park area, uh, Rocky River and Puritas uh, Avenue. Um, Camps Corners was close, Lorraine and uh, Rocky River. Uh, Raymond in Atlanta, Georgia. Good morning, Mike. Hey, Michael. Yeah, Michael, you always support us. Thank you for all your support, always. Michael. Good morning, Mike and Janet. Hope all is well. Keep shining, brother. You too, Janet. Janet went live last right. night. She had a whole 10 people in the house. It's okay. They are good friends. <laughs> They're all good support friends. Me. They support me. That's too bright, honey. Too bright. Yeah, it's too bright. <laughs> uh, Timothy Bush. Uh, Mike and Janet from Arizona. Okay, I'll join your members this month. Yeah, uh, on the membership, I'm making a, a an effort to put information about, um, you know, the mailing, um, how to get your mail, and how to get all the different things you need to prepare to come here. Uh, they're short videos, three to five minutes, and um, I hope to do a live stream with members only about each subject um up here in the next couple of days uh 33 degrees in wisconsin snow on friday has janet ever seen one degree celsius only in the freezer <laughs> only in the freezer yeah, i mean the cold here it was, the air conditioning it's so nice here she just caused a cold so she couldn't handle one degree randy from texas but living in aruba, aruba 28 years aruba. now Thinking what about the Aruba's in the Caribbean. It's below the U.S., below Florida. Same as uh, uh, the Philippines, except more modern. And, yeah. you know, it's islands. Uh, smash the like button. Yeah, guys, let's hit the like button. Yeah, uh, like. Saw the video on Annex. No sound, but very sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hi, Mike and Janet. It is very sad what happened to these people. Turbo Chris, uh, Fred Thompson. Thomas Thompson, how you doing? Uh, I'm going to stop here and let's talk. Let's talk a little bit about this. If, like I said in the description, I have four links to four different um, uh, news outlets that did this. The one from Manila, the Manila News or the Manila Bolton, uh, has the most up to date. Uh, the young man's name was Michael George Ricky. The form the the form. gentleman that passed away. The the foreigner. He was 37 years old. Uh, my understanding uh, from reading a few things was he was MMA uh, fighter. Uh, I, I never heard of him. I don't know that for a fact. I just, everything here is what I just saw on the internet. But we had lunch with an attorney that was familiar with uh, what happened. 
and he had a few uh, observations about that. The gentleman that shot him was a, a rapper, I guess a popular rapper here in the Philippines. Here in the Cebu. He's from Cebu. He's from Cebu, a singer in Cebu. Cebu. Cebuano rapper. A Cebuano rapper. And I'm trying to find his name. This is... Uh, let's see. Uh, Ranger. Yeah. Nine 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 is his rap name or his handle. But Jade his, Andrew is a real name. What's I said last night? Salira. Jed Andrew Salira. Now, uh, the shooting happened Sunday. This is uh, Philippine time. Sunday morning, about seven or eight o'clock in the morning, That's outside a club. That's in the waterfront yeah. casino, not waterfront, waterfront hotel. Now, the waterfront hotel uh, has the, the U.S. consulate is there on the ground, uh, the bottom level. Yeah. You have the hotel dining area and uh, I guess the nightclub, nightclub. is in uh, the facility. It also has a casino upstairs and Janet and I have been there. Yes. Uh, we met friends there for coffee once and we've been to the casino there. Uh, never looked like a rowdy place, but uh, you you put together uh, casinos and drinking, uh, nightclubs and drinking, uh, young men with testosterone, you know, strong, uh, you know, thinking the world can't hurt them, uh, young guys all in the same place. The rapper said uh, the American Mike was being disrespectful to the ladies mm -hmm. in his group. At the at the night time, he said that. Morning. Yeah, during during their stay in the club. They, to go that the, in the morning, that's what he. Yeah, they stayed there. The club's open late, I guess. That if it's late. We do the already that one. They said night time, but we go there in the morning already. He's so we're mad to the, the, the so to the foreign. foreign. So the, the guy, the rapper, was in a car. They were outside. Uh, I guess he drove the car right up to uh, the foreigner, to to the American, and uh, got out of his car. Uh, That's why he do that. And shot him. <laughs> and shot him because he was. He said in the court uh, proceedings, he was being very disrespectful to the ladies and his uh, friends. his friends, yeah. touching them on the behind, and that's why he did what he did. So. That goes back to the, the old thing of saving face. I don't know what happened. You know, the particulars that led up to that. Uh, but who, who knows what happened in the club? Alcohol was involved or not involved. I don't know none of this stuff. But uh, you can just see where uh, we've all been there sometime in our lives when we've been in a bar or been somewhere and somebody's hitting on a friend or a girlfriend or saying inappropriate things and you stand up for them. And um, in this case, I think it escalated way, way out of control. There's no reason and no way to justify the rappers um, what he did. He's 100% wrong. Uh, the CCTV uh, video, yeah, there's no sound because it's just the camera in the sky. 100% did it confessed to doing it mm -hmm. he's in jail uh the original charges were frustrated murder now the philippines has um a law where we call it attempted murder in the u.s here it's frustrated murder and the, the same charges uh the same punishment but it's when you go to try to kill somebody and for some reason you were unsuccessful uh your full intent is to kill this person and maybe somebody intervened, uh, the wound wasn't severe, or the guy was able to defend you off. But uh, that was his original charges. The the bullets, they said he got shot in the thigh and in the chest. And uh, the one in the lower chest, they think hit an organ and he passed away uh, Thursday, Tuesday, right. Tuesday, about 5 p.m. And then the charges were up to murder charges so that's what happened um uh, it's not that was not a random act of violence uh where you know you're just walking down the street and someone shoots you 
uh, like most murders, people know the person who is shooting them or killing them. It's usually uh, an acquaintance of some way or somebody that you met and in an argument. Um, That's right. But it's very sad for this young man. Very young, very healthy looking. If you again, you go to the um, Manila, uh, the link to the Manila article. It shows his picture. You know, he's a, a strong looking guy, young. Uh, they have his picture from his Facebook page. And uh, let's see, I'm going to read a little bit around here. The, the Sabuan rapper, you know, I don't know if he has a criminal background. I don't know what it is with these rappers. I remember when rap first started to get very, very popular. Um, you would you'd hear a lot about rappers shooting other people or being involved in uh, violence. But uh, they said uh, he, he was defending his female friends from Ricky's rowdy behavior. Uh, and the, the shooting was caught on security cameras. Uh, it was outside a bar within the premise of the waterfront Cebu City Hotel and Casino. Uh, the young man that was arrested, he was arrested at his manager's house. He drove off, but uh, police were able to, everybody knew who he was. Like he was, for where he was at, he was famous. And so he's arrested, he's in jail, and uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, so there's not too much other than, you know, know your surroundings. Any lessons to be learned there? I don't think so. Um, Guys coming here in Cebu, all the foreigners, just be careful you what to say. <laughs> yeah, that, that saving yeah, face or getting arguments with, with locals doesn't work. Doesn't work. Um, many beatings uh over the years uh, of foreigners who, who stepped over their bounds and get disrespectful you, you might look at one and not in the shooting aspect but you might look as i'm a foreigner i'm five foot ten i'm 200 pounds uh this guy is five foot two you know 120 pounds and uh uh you're disrespectful to them next thing you know these guys they got a ton of cousins a ton of brothers they have big families you know janet's family and the brand guy how big is your family yeah <laughs> <laughs> they're every you know there's so many uh family they're so close yeah, the and there's so many cousins that she hasn't even met but they would help them help them out so um uh, yeah that was a sad sad thing and uh now we'll get into why we're in Cebu. Or if anybody has any comments, I'll, I'll stroll down and see if there's any comments on it. Uh, let's see what's next. How are you doing? Everything is good. Everything is good. So, how's the okay. price at the club? I'm staying here three nights. Tax, title, everything out the door was eight thousand pesos. Three nights is three eight thousand. Eight thousand pesos. So it's about twenty seven hundred pesos a night, which is. Uh, 45 to 50 dollars depends on the room david price thank you yeah you can upgrade and get bigger rooms we just have a, a standard a small room uh brent greetings from tucson how you doing hello brent mike come visit me for an interview in jail bring food <laughs> I'm ready. oh i know who you're talking about no i this guy here he's um you're making fun of Barry Jordan. Barry Jordan is a sad story. All you uh, cheap bloggers out there who try and make money off Barry Jordan, asking for money to help him out, and you never send him the money, you keep it. Uh, shame on you guys. Um, but uh, enjoy your life. I'm, uh, you know, I'm glad you, you know, be friends. Barry thought he had some friends, but uh, not really. Uh, Short Loaf. Good morning, guys. How you doing? Hello from Virginia. Hello, Turbo Chris. Uh, good video with the lawyer, very foreign. I thought it was a great interview. Uh, no one's watching it, but. Uh, Mike said it's, it's not good. <laughs> good noble body watches it, the views. It doesn't have, you know, it doesn't have girls and sex and drugs. You know, it doesn't have any of that stuff in there, but there's some good advice. You know, people yeah, ask all share. the time. 
I have a criminal record. I have a DUI. I have this. I have that. Can I get a permanent resident visa? He answers this question. And uh, he also uh, clarifies if you're married and you buy property, that you're not hung out to dry. You know, they can't throw you off the property. And, um, you know, can you go to jail as an American? Yes, you can. But we talk a little bit about this. And it was a fun interview. Like I said, he's young. He was nervous. And um, he works with uh, C&G consultant. He's their lawyer. Uh, but he just makes sure all the paperwork is legal and proper when people are filing their visas uh, through C&G with Heidi. Yes. yes. Very, very. It was, I thought it was a, a, a good video. A lot of videos I think are good and nobody watches. Some I think are terrible. And then, you know, 100,000 people watch. Smurfs. I, sorry, I got that. Make that 11. <laughs> that was Janet. 11 on the chat, watching her. Just back from all, all day? Where's that? All, all day. All, all day. I don't know where that is, Mark. You make a shortcut, guys. I don't understand. <laughs> Hello there, young man. Hello there, young man. Who, is there someone else in the room, Joseph? <laughs> you. You will be the young man. Smurf Crusher. How you doing? Doing good. Hello from uh, Lubbock. Lubbock, Texas. Joseph, how you doing? You have been in Lubbock, Texas. Do you have my 71 days? Yeah, we're going to see you soon. I got everything done. Maybe a, uh, everything done made a check. You know what I had, Giovanni? And if you watch Thank Steve you. up there at um, Philippine Info Channel, uh, he gave me this piece of I I got that white eraser board, and I started every time I talk to somebody, watch the video, something else to do, I put it up on the board and then I'll slowly, you know, cross them off as I finish them. Uh, and hopefully you get everything done before you get here. Um, is it, it is above Venezuela. All right. Venezuela. That is uh, Aruba. Okay. Uh, right. Fred. Friend Tom, Colorado, say hi to Bradley. Okay, hello to Bradley. I was MMA in the, okay. Let's see. True. I never heard of him. No, you know, not the, the Ranger, not the rapper. He's a local guy, I guess, but he had a nice car, you know, and, and, um, I seen a video of one of his where he was singing and playing. Um, I had some talent. He's a rapper guy here in the Philippines. Yeah. Uh, Is he from Cebu? Cebu. Cebu. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, internationally, he, I, he wasn't that big international. And neither neither was uh, Michael George Rickey, um as an MMA fighter that somebody mentioned to me he was. Uh, but you know. There's different levels, you know, there's the international level and then there's the local level. Yeah. Hi, Drew. I've never heard of him. Yes. Uh, let's see. Fred uh, Murph Crusher, Which Florida you? here. Yeah. Got gotcha. you knew a friend in the good old days. Ew. Not a reason to hurt. No, absolutely no reason whatsoever. And it came up as being uh, in a conversation. Somebody said, I did not know you were allowed to carry a gun in the Philippines. Well, just like in the U.S., uh, when a bad guy has a gun, there's no law going to stop them from using it. You know, if their mentality <laughs> is that they're going to do harm to somebody, doesn't matter how many laws you have, they're still going to to pull the gun, pull the trigger. Yeah, there's no reason uh, to do that. Uh, surprise security wasn't more on the scene, uh, but it was outside. You know, the, the shooting took he's, he's outside. In, inside in the car and just, and the foreigner go there. Yeah, because the, the gentleman I talked to said he didn't think that the rapper had a gun with him in the club. He think he had to go to his car and uh, they had that one final confrontation in the uh, the driveway, um, and that's where it happened. Casino and men are not reasons. No, they're not. They're not. 
they're not but that's what's over there they have the u.s consulate they have a um a casino they have a nightclub they have a beautiful hotel great buffet and um no there's no reason at all it's a sad tragedy when someone loses their life and he's in custody yeah he's going to get the evidence is he he already it says in the report the police said he admitted to the shooting mm -hmm. and he's and his defense is he did it to uh because the gentleman is being disrespectful to his female really? friends uh who is a fa i don't know i don't know it's um, ice cream man hey. uh he will be in jail for the rest of his life i don't know the the sentencing here how that works here in the philippines uh we'll follow that uh and see what happens but he's going to be there a long time long time a foreign affair okay Forever. yeah but those type of things uh happen everywhere everywhere in the world how strict is punishment in the philippines for something like that uh very strict, strict if they do something killing yeah. yeah prison is not nice here you know you think oh in the u.s you know you'd uh, be nice you have been prison here in the philippines no rooms for you no rooms <laughs> for you all, all in one one well, area yeah, yeah, yeah the jail here even overnight drunk jail is yeah. not good jail, That's good jail <laughs> there, here. there is no good jail here until uh gotta thank that smurf true Only just one room it's just all of them the <laughs> as long as this doesn't keep happening we as a people will heal before yes yes I don't think this has anything to do with any kind of political climate or the culture of Filipinos against foreigners this is an incident of two people uh who I wish one of them would have been somewhere else that night so nothing would have happened but uh just something that as an onlooker it happened uh, people who were there maybe it could have been stopped maybe not but uh it's just a sad incident run dmc yeah that's an old rapper this happens in america every day yes it does yes it does but uh american on american but when it's um oh i'll say like an immigrant you know mexican uh that's stuck across the border and he shoots an american or an American shoots and you know somebody from a different country it's more news and here it's big news in the foreigner community because we're, we're always worried about violence happening towards us how do we stay away from it uh, what caused it so we can learn and grow from it and educate ourselves to stay out of those uh, situations it's a common sense mode it's a common sense thing uh walk walk this way and walk away I don't imagine the Philippines jails are nice. They are not. Uh, he's singing the jailhouse rock now, rap version. <laughs> yes, it is. happens quite often, uh, happens quite a few times a day in America. That's sad. Um, Drew, thank you so much for the super sticker, Drew. Uh, we appreciate all the super stickers we get, guys. Uh, it's a good way uh, supporting our channel. Uh, the equipment and uh, the cost to us running around is Jumping around. Is, 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 is getting I higher and higher and higher. And uh, we appreciate any help we get. Yeah. And Drew, thank, you so, thank you so much. It also shows the gratitude uh, that you appreciate the work that we do. You know, yes. it's, it's a great way to uh, so being a YouTuber is not easy, guys. Well, <laughs> some people it's very easy some people it's hard yeah for us it's so hard uh good blessed thursday morning mike and jana hey mike sunshine oh, shoulders did a good infor informative video on the shoot yeah i saw that's where i first saw it was yeah. was on there but i'm here uh yes. you know we're a couple blocks away from where that happened we're, we yeah, go, we just we go to the waterfront um more than once and we we sat down with some people that live here and we were talking about uh the shooting uh one was a canadian uh one was a filipina and uh, one was the young uh, attorney 
And they had interesting perspectives on this and shock and shock that that shock. happened. Huh? It happened where, you know, when we, when we start talking about it, uh, some of the comments were that happened where this close to us, how, you know, it just, um, if you're not on social media and watching, you know, the Philippine news all the time, um, you wouldn't have noticed this. Warren, good morning, Warren. Being the Cebu was nice. <laughs> Warren, RG, RCG, good morning. How you doing, buddy? Holiday Inn in Cebu was nice. Yes, it's right down the road here. It's, it's very nice. It's on the other side of the mall. We went to the mall last night. Hello, Mike and Janet from Brooklyn. Nice, clear picture. Oh, thank you. I'm glad it is. Nice. Just stay away from drunk Filipino guys. Yeah, it's not I'm a, drunk. I'm a Filipina, and I grew up with drunk uncles that like to fight all the time. Alcohol and men and women with women around never never goes well a lot of times. What, what, did, what did my mom used to say? Nothing good happens after midnight. Uh, good morning, Mike and Janet. I'm in Memphis. Michael C. in the Philippines. How you doing? Yes. For a few days. Can't wait to come back. Have a great day. All right. Honest John Travels. I'm Mike and Janet. Great lawyer blog. I will definitely be contacting them for help. Well, thank you. Yeah, they're great people over there. And they'll help you in more than one ways. Um, Heidi was telling me that uh, people that go through her service and when it's time for them to get a bank account, She's helped quite a few get a bank bank account. Uh, she knows the proper documents that you need, and she's familiar with it. And uh, I think she know, has a contact in the bank also. So uh, if you need help with a bank account or something, give us CNG Consulting a call. I agree. Great video with the lawyer. Thanks, Steve. Yes. Appreciate that. Hey, Mike and Janet, have you ever looked into srrv visas and is it worth it in your opinion and how hard is it to find a quality stake with price. impossible to find a quality stake uh, at, a, at a decent price eric on the srrv there there's more than one type if you're a veteran it, that's the best visa you can get it's um if you have served any time in the military you don't have to be retired military just had to be in the military it's $1,500 you put in the bank uh, deposit, and uh, $1,500 is the processing fee with the government. And then uh, you get a permanent resident card that you only have to update yearly. And uh, it's a great way to go if you're a veteran. If you're not a veteran, uh, you have to put some money in the bank as a deposit, uh, $10,000 or $20,000, depending on your circumstances. There's, there's, on, on the video I just did with the lawyer, there's a link to uh, CNG Consulting. Uh, they do a free 15 minute personal one on one consultation. And you tell them what you're looking for, they'll tell you uh, what you can get and the requirements, and they'll answer all your questions. SRV is easy to get if you, if you can, uh, if you qualify. Best part of the video posted with the lawyer was at the end with Janet and Heidi. Hey, you watched all the way. All <laughs> right. I was wondering how many people would see that. How many watching that one until the end? <laughs> he got 30 years. Okay. Renz. I'm going to take Renz down. I'm going to just put you on timeout, Renz. Uh, oh, that's a store. Okay. Store. Aldi unfamiliar uh all these a new chain of grocery stores from germany here in the u.s all right okay. i i did not know that i'll be heading your way in february we'll see you in february yeah oh i don't know aldi was from germany okay mm -hmm. the aldi conversation i bought a toothbrush okay good for you Always be respectful in the Philippines. Yeah, and and hang out with Filipinas and Filipinos 
that are respectful also. Even if you're with a, a new date and you're with the date and it's the same thing back home and she's nice to you, respectful to you. But when you sit down, she's disrespectful to the waitress or she's disrespectful to somebody nearby walking by or she has bad comments about somebody. Uh, maybe that's someone to stay away from. Uh, a person who is respectful is respectful to everybody all the time. And uh, especially here in the Philippines, you get a lot of hello, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Even if they, they don't want to say it, you know, in the back of the mind, you're being a jerk to them. They still are respectful to you. It seems like the crime happened on video. Video cameras are everywhere here in the Philippines, everywhere. We have four in our house, you know, it seems like crime happens on video, clear cut case, his life is over as well. It's a shame that parents in America now have to deal with. Yes, yes, that's a terrible, terrible thing. He confessed, he, he told the police he, he shot him. Mike, the attorney was nervous, but he was quite informative. Yes, he was. Great video, in my opinion. I guess it depends um, if you want good, reliable info like this or gather it from an unlicensed source. Yeah, uh, it was a just like different YouTube topics, uh, you get different opinions. You know, I, I have an opinion on a topic. Paul has an opinion on a topic. Geo has an opinion on a topic. And um, just because we use the same topic doesn't mean you can't get uh, more information. Uh, and same thing with what I try to put up with my guests. Uh, you probably heard a lot of that before, you know, that, you know, can't buy property here in the Philippines and that. But you like to get a different perspective. And there are legal ramifications. The court system here is very fair. It's very fair. Um, and a lot of it is dealt with in the Brangi. And if you live in a Brangi, take a moment to do something in the Brangi. Take take some gifts to the people at the Brangi, some snacks. Uh, go in and introduce yourself to the Brangi captain if you're living in that community and you're going to be there a while. Uh, I'm not saying you become part of the community doing doing a lot of things, but let them know you. Get to know them if you can. It's like we have an Aldi commercial sponsored by Aldi grocery store. Did you mention the rapper's name? I can't find it online. Ranger 9999. If you click at the top of all the comments, there's a link to uh, an article in the Manila Bolton, and it's on there in the description. Uh, I have a link to to it also. See if I can. Yeah, and I I'll I'll put it again right here at the bottom. Maybe. No, I don't think they're gonna let me post that. Uh, I'll be back there in September. We'll see you in September. Enjoying you too from Mexico. Yeah, yeah. Party, party time in Mexico. We're in Mexico. Sorry, I can't stick around for the chat, Mike. Okay, Jerry. Hey, Jerry. You're traveling to look at houses. I'll catch the replay tonight. They have a great uh, chat, nice. you all. Good luck for looking for houses, man. Good luck. Jan from Holland. Another. Everybody loves this store. Seven shooting deaths in 28 days in Atlanta. Cebu is not bad. Okay. I don't know how many shooting deaths there are in Cebu. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. That no crime happens here. It's a yeah, big crime. city. Uh, do they get reported like this one? No. It's big news. A rapper shoots a foreigner. You know that's that's a big headline. So uh, I'm not saying there aren't shooting deaths here in, in 28 days. But uh, you just stay away from trouble. Just stay away from trouble. Okay, congrats. Uh, well, I am attempting yeah. to marry in July. Either way, I have loads of Sky Miles when it's Same. all said and done. All right, at least you get at least you get some free traveling out of that or free hotel room.
Good morning. Saw you guys yesterday evening in Ayala. So, uh, so back to Cebu. Life. Yeah. Just for a couple days. We'll get to that yes. here in a minute. Why we're in Cebu. It's a big reason we're here. I've told everybody we're staying in Dumaguete and not traveling. Uh, Warren, yes. congrats for the getting married. Yes. Uh, murder is... Uh, Okay. Mission prepared to walk 12 years. 20 years and one day to 40 year homicide. I don't know. What 12 that. years and one day to 20 years. I don't know. Hey, Brad, thank you. Shout out to Brad. Thank you for the super sticker. I'm going to learn how to put some sky rockets going up when I when somebody either becomes a channel member or they, they give us a super sticker. I feel like uh, you should get a little bit more recognition, but thank you so much. We really appreciate Brad. You've been yeah, there for shout out to Brent. <laughs> he's been supporting us for the longest time. We really appreciate that. YouTube keeps feeding, feeding me. Yeah. Uh, uh, what? Uh, Drew. Please like. Please and like subscribe, and subscribe, guys. We're getting close to thirty thousand subscribers. You know, slowly, I'm surprised. Slowly. slowly, slowly, it's going fast. Uh, uh -huh. I'm thinking it might be be a weeks. You know, during Holy Week here. Yeah. Two topics I want to talk about, and we're going to stop here and talk about it. Stock market is booming. I'm loving it. Good for you. Uh, YouTubers keep feeding me. And, me and Cebu bloggers, he heals and complains about the other channels. And this whole channel, ever, ever run into, into the him there? You have to tell me his name. Initials SG. I have no idea. Yeah, W. Who's that? You have to tell us who that is. But anyway, the reason why we're here. Yeah, why we're here. So, my <laughs> Terrible Chris, thank you for the super sticker. Shout out to Terrible, Terrible Chris. Chris. Thank you for the super sticker. <laughs> Back before we left Cebu the first time, uh, you know, we're doing our 13A visa. And part of doing your 13A visa is the NBI security clearance. Well, I went down to do it and I didn't tell nobody because it's, it's bad, but I went, I failed. Yeah, Mike's it's, failed in NBI, guys. I'm scared of that because maybe Mike's have a record in the US. <laughs> I failed the, the background check. <laughs> he failed in the NBI, but now Heidi called us your oh, NBI. Don't break the story. I don't break the story. I'll be the terrible storyteller let me tell you the ending right now now i'll tell you the story. yeah listen to mike don't listen to me so so i failed and i'm trying to think what did i do wrong to fail and heidi goes it's because you have a common name well my name is not a common name yeah and i go my name's not common you know there's not that many people with the same last name as me in the world, let alone in, in the Philippines. And she goes, no, 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 it's the name Mike, Michael. There's so many Michaels. So we have to go back to, the, here's what happened. You go in there you fill out the paperwork and they, they take your fingerprints and electronically, you know, they, they do your fingerprints. And then you wait a minute, they punch in your birth date, your name, your mother's maiden name, uh, everything. Came back a big green sticker. Now, this is a video at the end of the month, but for you guys watching, it comes up there. Hit. Hit. All of a sudden, uh, Heidi's man who's with us, uh, walking us through the process, his draw jumps by. Uh oh, sir, you have to go sit over here. <laughs> I'm thinking they're going to arrest me. They're going to put me in jail because of the, the <laughs> hit. Do I, do I have a warrant overseas that I don't know about? All this stuff. And now I'm starting to sweat. It's an outside but facility. you know you know that one if you need it or not <laughs> you're the one to be to know that <laughs> so i'm sitting there and i'm nervous i'm nervous then they go come back with us and they tell jan she has to stay where she's at it's just me we walk all the way in the back you <laughs> walk into the stark area and there's holding rooms you know where like interrogation rooms or interview rooms and they take me and they do my fingerprints the old-fashioned way with the ink you know, a lot of you guys remember when you were first arrested, right? They roll your fingers, they put the ink on there, and they do all that. And um, now you got ink on your hands, and there's nowhere to wash. 
you know, you're talking to the guy, you got all this ink on your hands, ask a few more questions. Then he says, come back in 30 days. Uh, so I go outside, they have a bathroom outside with a sink and no soap. So you're just in the water trying to get all this off. So I talked to Heidi and they said, well, you know, we have to wait for the clearance. So we left. And then as we told everybody, we're going back to Dumaguete to spend the month of March in Dumaguete. Then uh, we get the call. Hey, you passed your NBI clearance. So we need you to come back up here, bring the documents that they wouldn't accept uh, when we were there because I failed. Um, we gave all of the paperwork to the attorney yesterday. Um, the young man that was with us, he's handling it. And um, I just have one document to sign later today or tomorrow. And uh, then we get to leave, but we have to come back two more times. One is the interview. And then the other one is uh, getting your uh, 13A visa. So um, it's all going well now after that bump in the road where they thought I was a common criminal, but uh, all, all good to go. That's so good. that part is that part is taken care of. We'll do a few more uh, comments, then we'll talk about Holy Week coming up. Yeah. Please be respectful here. This is a classroom, not a bar room. Yes. I'm I'm trying to catch them. I I timed out two people already. For some reason, I'm not a member anymore. Well, it, the membership is every 30 days you have to renew. Um, if you're not a member, that's that's cool. Uh, the murder rate in the Philippines is higher than in the U.S. Uh, the rate might be higher. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I need stats for that. People tell me that all the time. I just know in Chicago, though, when I was back in the States, I remember one day in Chicago, there were 15 murders in one, one night. So uh, I can't believe that. I've been watching your videos from time to time uh, when I'm free. I'm in New Zealand. Hey, John, how you doing? The same stories have been over and over since you first started and no topic that hasn't been well if you have a new topic post it and i'll make i'll do it on it uh, other other than that i don't know what to tell you wow and sabu again so much for the budget you better believe it and we're trying not to spend money we heidi bought us lunch yesterday we freeloaded off of her and uh, <laughs> lunch asked her. And we the night before we had a, a nice dinner at Paris. Paris, Not Paris. dinner. That's uh, the night. Yeah, Paris, we go Paris. to Paris. Paris here at the side of Quest Hotel. That is a cheaper way. It was like five hundred. Five hundred. We got change uh, for the five hundred peso. It was four eighty. I think it was four eighty for us both to eat, and it was it was good. It was soup, and it was, it was a little bit healthier than I'm used to eating. This is the the link to the uh, article in the Manila uh, bulletin. Oops. Mm. Good morning, been here 18 years, uh, 14. You lived in Leyte, uh, that typhoon Thank Yolanda. You know, okay. Yeah, that was a horrible typhoon. I watched these videos for entertainment, not to learn anything. I, I probably could give advice. You should. If you're good at it, if you know what you're talking about, uh, feel free to leave a smart comment. Yes. I said, I've been married to my U.S. bride for 46 years. She is uh, as demented. Oh, sad. Yes, that's sad. That is uh, when you really love someone. And the loss of memory. And and not knowing where they are is is so sad, and the caretakers are the ones uh, who really, really, the burden falls on them because they love that person, they're taking care of that person, and that person, you know, is slowly, slowly getting worse and worse. And uh, God bless you, uh, God bless you, taking care of, taking care of your wife. Let's see here. Good evening, Mike and Janet. Off the cuff adventures with Jamie. Jamie. How you doing, buddy? Jennifer, Jamie, hello to you. Earlier you said 
ten thousand in the bank is that uh, U.S. U.S. dollars. U.S. dollars. There's different requirements how much you put in the bank, and you can use that money to buy a condo or property or or a house, something like that. He goes by name Sick. I know, I know, I know him. He's always around Ielma. I thought he was in Thailand. If he. I've talked uh, yeah. with him. I've sat with him, talked to him. I don't agree with his content. I don't agree with uh, what he does, but uh, people watch him. Janice's reaction to Super Sticker is much better than a banner. Yes, I know. Her voice is always un is very annoying. <laughs> no, it's not. Poor Mike. I hope I hope you're joking about that, dude. Uh, bad boy, Mike. <laughs> Let's see. Yes. Mike looks like he's 80. Who is older? Steve Montilli or Mike? That's a uh, another one of these. I'm mean, getting all these people who me, they, I'm the older. They think I don't know what they're talking about. Let's see. Uh, hello, Mike and Janet. I'm a commercial the contractor. Uh, I'm not the expecting. I think I think I commented this somewhere else, Frank, uh, or Fresh. Uh, you cannot work here. If you're on a tourist visa, you're not allowed to work. If you come over here and you get a permanent resident card, uh, you mm -hmm. might be able to get a job. Or if you get a worker's permit uh, visa where someone hired you and then you came in, but you're going to make nowhere near the money you're thinking there, you're going to make $10, $15 a day for 10 hour day. So don't think that you're much better off working in Australia for three months and then coming here for the rest of the year. You made more money in that three months than you would ever make here in a year. Hello from Finland. All right. Our European connections coming in. At least you didn't get hosed and drowned into a cell. Okay, of course not. Why would I get hosed and drowned? Uh, just want to do some work in the Philippines, wondering how it is to market there and how much to install. Install the split system. Hey, guy, I'm going to do an interview today uh, with John Sonoma. And uh, when I post that, click on his link. He helps expats who are starting businesses in the Philippines. Yeah. Heidi also can get you a, a, a business uh, visa where you come here and you invest and you start a business. So all those things can be done. Uh, just to come here and work, unless you make friends with somebody and they ask you to do something, they pay you on their table. Uh, soon I'll travel to uh, Cebu. All right. Common sense issues. Uh, let's see. I discovered I that there is is a guy in the U.S. who has the exact name as me, middle, first, and last, was born Seven, Seven years, years before me, saw a picture of a gravestone. My name on it. Yeah, you know, name, um, they are the some of them. They are the same name, but well, yeah, you got common John Smith, Smith or some. You know, there's a lot of those. Yes, that yeah. would be freaky. To you have a name, the, the same name. Yes, yes. So the budget this month is still uh, is good. Uh, the Janet cut down. No. Every time we go out, when I say we're at a coffee shop and two co it's one coffee, hot oh, chocolate. I bring this one. She brought her own. <laughs> we're in the room. The I bring this one. We're good on the from Dumaguete now. Back here in Cebu. <laughs> we're good on the budget as we're not spending much and we're staying home a little bit more often, getting some work done, and we're looking for a house. We're doing a lot of riding around on that yeah. aspect. But we had friends in for three days. And I haven't posted those three days. Uh, that got a little pricey because of uh, the quality of the food. I, I, I have when I have friends come in. We do. I try treat, to treat them very nice. Yeah, we do treat. You like, know, you come eight thousand miles. You know, I'm going to treat yes. you very nice for for being here. Uh, but yeah, we'll see where it ends up. I mostly do commercial. Yeah, refrigerator, but good mm -hmm. good luck with that, fresh. Uh, be respectful and stay away from drama, drama. and you find in any country. Well, okay. expect well, that. 
I'll, wow. I always got to throw one more. Uh, you made such a nice comment and then you got one more thing. Yes, be respectful, especially, yes. you know, when you're not in your home country and even right. in your home country, just be respectful, guys. Turbo Chris, when you sign membership, okay. Thanks, Brent, for telling him that. Uh, make sure you get the burger and ice cream before you leave, Mike. Hey, I haven't had a burger yet and we did not get you a lot to last night, but we did have... <laughs> We had we had lunch at Korean place and Heidi, Heidi's tree. Soul Black. Yes. That is a Soul Black. Soul Black. And uh, I like the Korean there. You know, I don't like the Korean stuff. I didn't. I didn't find it. It was good, but I but it's not something I I enjoy. Um, and then that evening, I knew we were going to get hungry. We walked over to the mall, and we got. Um, we went in Abaca coffee yeah. shop. I had a cappuccino. She had a hot chocolate, of course, and we bought some pastries. Uh, they were they were <laughs> discounted because it was late later in the day, thirty percent off after eight o'clock, I think it was, or seven o'clock. And uh, so we got some. We brought some back for morning uh, breakfast, but we ate some there. Yes. Let's see. You're the best, Michael. Well, thank <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I made some noodles and canned tuna at home tonight. You know, casserole. tuna tuna noodle casserole, one of my sure. better dishes that I made back in the states. Really? really, guys, if you want, if you are coming here in Philippines, bring tuna for my <laughs> tuna for. They have tuna from U.S. What kind? They, of tuna? they have tuna here. Uh, Yeah. We had some internet disruptions. Check here. this one if you have TV, you connect man. Let me check something, guys. It's not okay. It's okay. Okay, we're good. Okay, let's see. Maybe the odds for internet. Let's see. see. I'm good. You and Janet, what do you like? Why do you like to live in the Philippines? Is the question. Um, um I like Ch Philippines because you can enjoy summer places there. This is like a mountain viewing and many stuff. We like, I like traveling around and I travel in the morning, travel in the night. Um, not so much, but during the day we go up, you know, we, we drive somewhere as a destination. Uh, but we also take days when we drive and get lost. Mm -hmm. And this is it around Dumaguete, Valencia, her hometown. We've been on road. She's never been on before. And uh, we see what we see, and you never know when a coffee shop pops up or or a beautiful view. Yeah. And uh, before, guys, I never been traveled. Never. Yeah. Never been on an elevator. We never. <laughs> they all. They are all first time. Never played a slot machine till she met me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I play because I don't have money for that. I cannot go in the. <laughs> wave, Janet, wave. Behave, Janet. Janet's trying to eat and talk. Good morning to one of my favorite channels. Love your blogs. Your wife is so pretty. Well, yes, thank you. Uh, you are a happy couple in love. Keep it up with blogs. Yes, thank thank you. you and keeping, keeping us and entertained. Amen. Thank you, V. Thank you, V, for your commenting that. Very nice comment. You got 160 in the house. Wow. If foreigner buys land in name of his Filipino wife, and God forbid the Filipino wife dies, what, what happens to the land? land? It okay. will not be in your name. There's, there's, um, a, a inheritance goes from the wife and the uh, from the from the owner to their children, mm -hmm. then to the parents, and then to the siblings. Uh, I cannot own. The property i can have it sold and get my uh investment back but i cannot have title of that property and uh it's pretty complicated but it isn't like the day she dies you got to move out mm -hmm. there's a process and uh it you know you make a will you go see a, a filipino lawyer and make a will in in behalf of either one of you passing I'm a retired police officer and paramedic. How res how respective would they be?
be about me working. Working as what? Uh, a cop or a paramedic? You won't get those jobs here. Mm -hmm. you know? Unless you're hired uh, by the police department or somebody hires you and they, they file uh, the proper visas, they have you a working visa. Just like in the U.S., when people come to the U.S., they got to have certain types of visa. They're a tourist. Yeah. They come there to work or not. Uh, what, whatever video I watch, I'm, I always subscribe and uh, click on the thumbs, thumbs up. up. Thank, Thank you, you John. so much, James Lee. Thank you. It's Thank just you. a way of showing appreciation that you enjoyed yeah. the, the video. I meant and they took me took off the membership. membership. I, I want to, to get back, back on my. I meant they took you on. Wow. Uh, I don't. I don't know, Chris. I don't know. I'll look. I'll look into that. Uh, morning, Mike and Janet. Morning, how are you? Hello, bad signal. Hello, good morning. Good evening there. What's the one food you miss in America? A Wendy's double cheeseburger. Wendy's, guys, cheeseburger. always burger. Thanks, Brent. I think Mike thought I gave gave up your number one, Mike. No, yeah. no, no. All you guys, if you're a member or not, uh, and you support the channel by just being on the lives and watching the videos, I'm very appreciative. I'm so appreciative for, to the membership. And remember, guys, I, I have a newsletter that comes out. And in the newsletter uh, are links to join the membership and go to my website. So uh, send me if you haven't received the newsletter yet an email requesting it. Uh, I just don't do a mass mailing to people who don't request it. And let's see here if I can get the. Ch that is my email address. Um, you guys, Mike's Philippine Retirement. It's at the bottom of all the descriptions. You go to any video, and then you go to the where it describes the video. You click on more, and you go down to the bottom. It'll have my email address. Send me an email and request the uh, newsletter. I've been sending them out about three a month. Right now. And where did I go? Brian Turbo Chris. I'm sorry, I, I got off and I lost. Okay, bad signal, yeah. Okay, yeah, you're number one there. Danny DeVoe, Danny in the house. Hey, the you, Danny. Hi, Janet, not you, Mike. I know Danny. <laughs> Danny don't like Mike. Uh-uh. I'm not, it's not wise to plan on coming here to work. It's better to retire here yes. and have funds before you come. You know, you can, uh, notes off the cuff. Super Shout chat. out to Off the Cuff Adventure. We just meet. I fly back in 64 days. Can't wait to meet you guys going for six months. All okay, right. Six months. Hope going we get to see months. you. Yeah. Shout no. out to you, Jasmine. No, Shout no. Out to None of this. Boom. One boom. That's it. <laughs> One boom. <laughs> yeah. So. As for working, uh, just a guy. You you sh you can work online, and and make some money online. Establish it before you get here. If you're teaching school, some people teach English. Uh, maybe you do some consultation. Maybe whatever job you have, you can do online okay. work in your home country, and get ready to transfer it. Uh, and make sure you can do it from the Philippines. Uh, but finding a job per se here in the Philippines, okay. unless you're of some high technical uh, and they have everybody here. The law is you can't hire a foreigner for, for a job that you can fill with a Filipino. Uh, so it, it's hard to work here. A country that has a high unemployment and is poor like the Philippines, they want their people to work. Don't make pesos. You got to make dollars and spend pesos. That's the key here. You you can't make pesos and spend pesos. You're gonna go. Peso nowhere. here is so cheap. <laughs> so 
Do you, you guys get flying roaches? Yes, we do. It's the only thing keeping me from moving. I know, sad, Sweet weak reason. reason. That is a weak reason because the flying roaches, they're they're like outside. They're mm -hmm. not they're not in the house. You know, we don't have. You know, around the septic, maybe a roach will come out once in a while, but in the house, uh, we get one once in a while, and our our house is open. You know, the door is open uh, and easier access. But thinking of a uh, an apartment with roaches crawling all over the place, I don't get that where we live. Um, in the condo we stayed in, we had those real tiny cockroaches. They were like a quarter inch long. And you'd see them every once in a while. But the flying co cockroaches, that's nothing to worry about. Okay, got to run. I, I taught the wife how to cook, uh, how to do pork roast. Then we're going fishing again. Oh, those were some great fish you caught, man. Wow. I saw that bucket full of fish. I think Janet's voice is sweet. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Robert. It is true you live near rice fields. Rice fields, you get, get a lot of mosquitoes. I gotta get it's like living close to a swamp in the US. You're gonna get more mosquitoes because of the stagnant water. Yeah. But uh, mosquitoes are not, not really so a problem. Yeah, problem. not a problem. If you're always cleaning and Janet is talkative and feisty this morning. Monte, don't you know it? Hello, Monty. How are you, Monty? Shout out to Monty Curse family there. <laughs> Crew family Philippines. Yeah, crew family Philippines. Shout out to you, Monty. God, that's a high pitched voice. Oh, I need to make El Guapo. Yeah, shout out to El Guapo, my favorite blogger. Also, he's, if you're watching El Guapo, shout out to you. <laughs> he's not watching. He's too important to watch. No, <laughs> just kidding. I'm 100, 100%. I found my wife in Cebu City. Yes. Yeah. Right. So my friend no, Bert. Stop. Oh, no. No, I'm just just and the user. Even if I'm wrong, see ya. Uh, Shay's been talking uh, talking patrons on a motorbike tours of Valencia. So cool, it's but not stop signs of red lights. So cool, no stop signs. You know they they have stop signs in Valencia, and they have stop signs in Dumaguete now. So people telling you there's no stop signs, they're wrong. There's stop signs uh, just above the plaza. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw a couple there. And on Diversion Road now, the big four-lane highway that goes from Sabulan uh, all the way to Dawin and bypasses Dumaguete, there's stop signs for traffic that's stop signs trying to cross Diversion Road. I know Dumaguete is not yet have a red light, red light where the traffic lights still have not yet but they have a sign for the, uh, like a board people here uh don't have friends they have associates and classmates no we have friends you know i disagree with you monte crew there's one right there one of my better friends yeah i say yeah true if Shout you, out to you just Andy. have a so associates and classmates i feel i feel sad everybody has associates everybody has classmates but you do have friends don't say that. How about your wife leasing land to you for a hundred years with that work? A wife cannot lease land to you unless in the prenup. You have to get an attorney. It's a it's a complicated issue. You can't lease land from your own uh, your wife, and uh, it's a very complicated issue. If somebody wants to talk about that, that that'd be a consultation. Uh, you have to go to my website and and log on and um, book a consultation with me because this would take a while to explain because for every time I tell you something you'd have to do, there's gonna be 10 more questions. Your follow-up questions would be many. It's a complicated issue, but it's doable. It's more than doable. If you're married and uh, you're happily married, it's more than doable. And if you're the golden ticket, I call it the golden ticket is, you know, you have your wife and you're in the, in the US or Canada, and you're married, and you're married for 10, 15, 20 years. Greg and Wilma, uh, a good example of that. That's the golden ticket. They work to their goal of retiring 
saved their money, you know, bought a house as an investment, sold the house, moved to the Philippines, bought land. Greg had absolutely nothing to worry about with his wife and buying the land, building the house, and knowing it's jointly owned by the two of them, and and being as happy as can be. So you can make it work. Quit thinking that your wife is going to rip you off. If if you're in a situation where you think your wife is going to rip you off, why are you married? Why'd you marry her? Best thing you can do on your three-day getaway, uh, each uh, power off your phone. Oh, are you kidding me? It would be nice, but no way. No way. Uh Let's see here. Where am I now? I got complicated issues. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. There have been four or five foreigners killed in the Biluran province. Oh. And over what period of time? Got an article. Yeah. You know, just because you say so, it doesn't make it so. Can you get a 50-year land lease renewable? No, 25 years, and then renewable for another 25 years. And that's the max. I'm Mike and Janet in Cebu, short walk to Isle, and found an old woman of 44. You can find lots of women in Cebu, mm. Jerry. You can find lots of beautiful older women. How old is Wang? 40. 38. 38. Me, 30. You know, and she's a beautiful, yeah, and they're beautiful women at, at an older age. Can foreigners own a commercial property in the Philippines? You can. You have yeah. to get a special permit. Uh, you got to get a special visa for that. Uh, it could be um, the quota visa, which is a very exclusive visa. Hi, Mike and Janet. Hello to you, you are on No, this is a business trip. He says, uh, uh, day trading, yes. if you know what you're doing. Yeah, everybody likes day trading when the market's going up, up, up. But when it goes down, 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 they all bail. Yeah. Uh, off the cuff ventures with Jamie. Thank you. Roof, roof, roof. There's an old dog in the house. Shout out to Paul Dog. Oh, my God. Thank you for the super stick of Paul Dog. <laughs> Shout out to you. <laughs> I told you not watching Paul Dog this one hour <laughs> You, Hello he, to you. Paul interviewed your favorite blogger. Yeah. Guys, if you're not yet well, not yet watch it for the my favorite blogger, El Guapo, Beautiful Lies. Paul Dog is interviewing interviewing. Him. Brand new video Brand just new, up. Yeah. You guys check it out. Check it out to the post video to the interview of El Guapo. And he and Paul interviewed me. Watch that one first. <clears throat> If you haven't watched it already, I I think he got the good side of me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't stutter too bad in that video. Yeah, shout out to you, Paul. Salute. Paul, salute. I owe my YouTube career to Paul. Okay. Uh, fresh fridge. That's talking. About. Hey, Mike and Janet. Great show. Always entertaining. Hey guys, before you go, before we end this, I have, and I'm going to stay on till nine o'clock, but. I want to talk to you about Holy Week. Yes, Holy Week is here in the Philippines. People who say once a good time to travel to the Philippines, mm. Holy Week is not a good time to travel to the Philippines. They reschedule everything. Yes, the image changing some of the scheduling of a lot of businesses. The ferry, there are something close. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Some businesses will be closed. Uh, I remember last year, our favorite bake shop. Uh, they were closed, mm. and then when they finally reopened after a week, uh, they didn't have any bakery because the bakers haven't come back from the province yet. Holy Week, the ATM machines are going to be empty, um, big lines at the bank. Uh, be prepared if you're here during Holy Week. Bunker down somewhere. Traveling around the Philippines at Holy Week, the, the ferry schedule gets reduced. There's less ferries per day. The ferry that we take the motorbike from uh, Cebu Lan over to Cebu, uh, they go every hour and a half during Holy Week and a couple of days on Holy Week. Uh, they go like once every four hours. So See, I said the Holy Week, they don't have trip. 
Yeah, you know, one couple of days they don't even have trip. So yes. look look ahead, book ahead. Uh, hotel rooms are going to be very expensive. The Holy Week is next week, I believe, around the twenty eighth. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's the Easter week is considered a holy week here. So of all the times to come traveling that I think are bad times, Christmas, uh, January in Cebu, because of synagogue, uh, holy week. Everything else is pretty much doable, but holy week, be prepared for. Yeah, we'll uh, just check it out. You're going to go to a business that's open with no notice and you're going to go there. They're just closed, especially the smaller businesses. Mike and Janet, I just joined your channel. Oh, thank you, new channel member. To to you. Thank you. Guys, if you are not yet subscriber, please subscribe to our channel, My Swilling And also for my channel, guys, I will promote my channel here. <laughs> it's Philippine Life with Janet. Yeah, subscribe, guys. You better. She will talk to me. Hey, Mike and Jan just joined your channel. Yes, thank you so much. I grind pork with cheap Rip. hamburger. That's what I do. I mix pork with my yes. hamburger. Rudy G, another super sticker. Hey, Rudy. Rudy. G, shout out to Rudy G. Thank you for the super sticker. Appreciate that so much. Off the Cuff Adventures. Yeah, hi Paul. To Paul. Everybody's going to say hi, Paul. You got Paul in the house. Uh, your wife has a great radio voice. Oh my God! I need a great radio voice. <laughs> you... So I need to make a voice louder. No. You see her? She did it. If any of you guys watch her channel, and her her channel is unique, but she does an interview with El Guapo. It's her no, first. No. <laughs> it's her first interview, and she has a great time with him. If you're coming here, guys, I will interview you. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to start interviewing. She's going to be the new, uh, every person has a story. Every, story Everybody else. that comes, we're going to stand at the ferry. And as you get off the ferry, as you're walking from the ferry down to the trike or to the taxi or to your hotel, Janet's going to follow you with the mic. Do How do you like the spaghetti? How do you come here before anybody yeah. else can get hold of you I and interview? To, I need to buy the mic like that we do. <laughs> she wants, she'll be the roaming interviewer on the boulevard my god <laughs> uh don't get a land dispute or border dispute don't go to an atm and make big withdrawals uh, on a regular schedule don't let people know you but yes yes don't let don't let people know what you're doing your your money business is your own personal business uh don't flash money i give i give janet the money when, when we're around and she goes and she uh pays the bills and where we have larger sums of money, uh, I don't pull that out. Janet always has a thing of small 150 peso bills, 20 peso bills. So you're not showing a lot of cash when you're doing things. Remember, desperate people will do desperate things. And no matter where you are in the world. And a lot of time, it's um, a crime of opportunity. So just be, just be mindful of your business. Well said. Yes. Mike, good to meet you and looking forward to seeing more vids. All right, Al. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. He's a new He's subscriber. All right. He's Thank subscribing. you. Subscribing. Headed towards 30,000. I'm hoping to yeah. get there a week from today. Before the end of the month, maybe with 30K. Oh, I, I, way before that. Way but, before. Yeah. yeah, this week, this week, maybe. It's a joke. I'm 60. Have good time. So hot. Okay. Okay. Both okay, two. tell Wang I'm headed. <laughs> I headed the way. Wang, Wang is. Uh, Wang is live also today. She's everywhere. Yeah, she's <laughs> live. She was in Manila. She's here. Yeah. She, she's all over the place. All five foreign that were killed uh, was either a land dispute or they visited oh, the yeah. ATM. Well, yeah. I, uh, Paul in the house. Tell him we need a Goldfinger video. Hey. Congratulations to Paul. He hit 90,000 subscribers, headed towards 100. Let's see if we can get him up there. He's doing it the right way, guys. He's getting, he'll hit 100,000 the right way, posting good video after good video after good video. Yes. No cheap tricks. Uh, Sky 
scanners can tell you the best time to travel halfway, halfway around. across the world. All right. I don't, okay to you, Sean. I don't know who that is, Sean. Sky scanner. Sky scan. Monte and Big Paul. Daddy Big Paul. In the house. Yeah, they're they're two good friends yeah. of mine and Janet's. You know, we we hang out. We don't hang out with Monte as much as as we wish we could, but uh when we do see him, it's a good time. Yes. Charlie's. The thing with, with Monte and Paul and, and how I choose my close friends, if if they're a YouTuber, uh and we have many friends who are not YouTubers, but the ones that are, they have to be who they are on the channel right and now. in person. Okay. I can't take the fake on the channel and, and differ in real life. And Paul and Monty, what you see is what you get. Yeah, the good to Paul and Monty. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Mm. And shout out to Mike. Shout out to me. Good morning, <laughs> Mike and Janet, Charlie. Thank you. Uh, Mike is a new inspiration all right Daddy. thank you thank you every man has a story don't get into fights uh -huh. don't try hard not to you know if somebody wants to fight me i'll just put my hands up and say you win you win you win the fight you're the better man uh mike and janet uh, dominic here in london at midnight uh um, just, just join just, just now, now wow. you're both very good on screen great personality great thank you for joining Dominic here. martin a new subscriber wow. great thank, thank you guys hey mike and janet heading to cebu in may hey. for a month to visit my sweetheart all wow. right enjoy safe travels yeah i have show beer janet in energy in the live stream I tell her we need to energy. Yeah. You need more energy. More energy. Yeah. She here. I gotta have her drink that hot chocolate before every show. Before, yeah. I my chocolate is gone. I'm here now. <laughs> Couldn't miss Jana twice in one day. Yeah, Jana was on last night. I think live uh, last night because I tried. I will just try that one in the iPhone of Mike for the uh, horizontal horizontal so it's working so it worked it work good so work she's good she'll I'm start just... do more horizontal in the vertical narrow screen she'll do yeah. the horizontal it's much much yeah. better i know now how to do it they just have some in the settings to do sky scanner is an app all right check it out Smart okay. best time to travel is when you can go that's true yeah but holy holy week is tough yeah hello, hello nina's you. cooking show how are yeah. you yeah yeah to you Are foreigners safe in the Philippines? I believe so. I believe foreigners are very safe in the they Philippines. They are safe if you are not yet, and if you not yet get uh, something troubling here, S say something. Or... Safety, yeah, safety is a tough word. Yeah. No, I don't, robbery, you know, so I'm going to stick a gun in your chest and rob you. Uh, people going to run you over. No, not really. I think you're safe. You know, it's a lot of your own personality and, uh, I'm going to say yes, foreigners are safe here in the Philippines. Atlantic City, New Jersey, checking in. Hello, Hello Christopher. Christopher. Who's this? Oh my God. Shout out to Antonino. Hello, bro. You are you I I know you are there in Davao. How's Davao? How's Davao, my friend? Mike, do you have to extend your visa? And what are the yes, you do. You constantly have to extend your visa. Yeah, what? if it's a travel visa i'm going to tell you i would budget 30 bucks uh, a month for that uh, most months are less um, the acr card is the one that's going to surprise you it's about mm -hmm. eight thousand pesos i believe and you have to renew it every year while you're on a tourist visa yes tubers congratulating each other on doing a great job it's like watching the academy award you better believe it especially yeah, when they're especially when they're great friends you know i don't congratulate lots and lots of youtubers there's <laughs> far more youtubers than the four or five that oh. i really really like that are friends and if you can't recognize <laughs> she's gonna put we need charging there 
Dave Taylor, I've been here since 2010, no safety issues. Yeah, I believe it's like everywhere else. Mine, you know, be aware of your surroundings, be a good person. And, you know, 2, 2 a.m. is not the time to be walking up and down dark alleys. Yeah. Dalvao is an extremely safe city. Been here two months, no problems at all. And I don't know. I don't know. Dalvao is a very safe city and beautiful city. Yeah, I know it is, Dalvao. Yeah. Billy Goat, hey guys, Janet, sorry I missed your live. I slept in. I thought the camera looked good for the live. Thanks. Billy. Yeah, I, Billy, I just tried that one, uh, the phone, Billy. If you look for trouble, you'll find it. Be humble, guys. Very true. Yes, it's true. Are you, does trouble find you, or are you looking for trouble? Your your life history will t will tell you what you're doing there. Let's see. Can you now extend online? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can extend your tourist visa online, but you still have to sign the application uh, somehow. Yes. Either you got to download it and and sign it and carry it with you. Mm -hmm. I find Dumaguete so easy, and I just walk into the office and get it done. It's an in and out process. If yeah. you live if you live somewhere else far farther away from uh, uh, immigration office, yeah, online is great. Paul's crazy people rock. Retired Navy, yeah, Paul's crazy people. Okay. Stevie D, wishing you all a good day. Catch, Catch you, later. you later. All right, guys. Okay, what's next? That's it. We're about, we're about done there, so, man. Yeah. Eight thirty. Yeah. So thank you, guys. Well, I'm gonna wait a bit. A you, little bit. You want me to leave? No, I will be plans? here. Nobody comments, so just leave a comment there, guys, below, so we can answer your some question. <laughs> we need energy here. So nice. You need energy. <laughs> wow, where did this little lady get? <laughs> of all the videos I've seen, I never saw a concrete mixture. Yes, they have them, and we were driving on a Thanks. road. And yeah. they were they were pouring it on the road to you know make a, a lane of the road. Yes, we see that a lot. We and see a lot of this fixing the the road, the mixing. Next time I track. see one, we'll take. Uh, we'll yeah, take, I will film. We'll, we'll we'll take a picture and put it on uh, on our Facebook community. Yeah, but they do have that ACR card, uh, uh, I card, yearly res res uh, registration, three hundred ten pesos if thirteen a wife. Can have it removed if you upset her. The yearly registration of an ACR card is more than 310 pesos if you're not if you're not a 13A visa, if you're a tourist visa, it costs yeah. more. Every every level of different types of visa you have, everything has different costs. Uh, what you pay may not be what the next guy pays. When I go in and get my two-month visa. I have different, uh, every time it's a different price. So, you know, it, I don't know how they come up with the numbers, but uh, it, it always changes. Hello, Hello uh, to you. Bisayang kano. Like I mentioned to Paul about learning Philippine language, and he's yes, the same me. as you, no mm -hmm. hope. <laughs> what do yeah. you, you know, I have trouble with English. Me and trouble for English. <laughs> I have trouble with English. So how am I going to learn this language and and be able to communicate where you can sit down and have a conversation? Yeah. Other than saying hello, hi, thank you. But they know what those words are. So, yeah. DJ Janet. Yeah, Janet's like. And I'm making a DJ hater, guys. Yeah. I think I'm going to do a drug test on Janet. <laughs> We're going to go down to the clinic here and uh, yeah. take a little That's sample crazy. of. You can take a sample of her urine. I don't know what's gotten into Janet. Looking forward to watching your new episode on buying land with help of an attorney. attorney. Yeah, well, he answers a lot of different questions there. Yeah. Uh, take care, Mike and Janet. Be safe. All right. Thank you again. Yeah. Uh, off the Cuff Adventures with Jamie. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you to you. What is Janet's drink? Uh, hot chocolate. Hot choco and she's kicking the table. Her leg is just boom, boom. It's not gonna be, you know, it's like she's the dancer at the nightclub or something. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. Maybe it's scotch. I don't know. 
uh, go for a Section 13 uh, visa quote. Qual visa? Quote visa. Just Section go 13. for a Section 13. Quota visa. Quota, quota visa. It's, you know how hard it is to get a quota visa? They only issue so many a year per country. So say the U.S., they issue 50 a year to the U.S. quota visa and visa. Mm -hmm. It's a very expensive visa. It's a very privileged visa. And the requirements are strong. Um, I know one person that has a quota visa, and he's got uh, he's got what what we call fu money, and that's what you got to have to get a quota visa. Mm -hmm. uh, any special meals Janet family does for Easter? What do you cook? Anything special on Holy Week? You know, simple that one, the Filipino yeah. food. Just simple, but a gathering. Yeah. But it might be a family gathering, but the food's simple. Now, you know, ham, they have pork here almost every day. Yeah, pork, yeah. pork. Adobo, for... always will cook adobo. Mike's Philippine Retirement at gmail.com. The new newsletter is coming out. I'm going to have some of my thoughts about uh, the shooting, uh, the American being killed. Uh, also going to talk about buying land and uh, my website my website with the consultations so many people are asking me for consultation uh, that i decided i'm going to go ahead and start doing that so um, that'll be in the new newsletter if you guys want to receive the newsletter uh it's going to have some photos and some links to some videos and and just some interesting topics it's going to come out three times a month maybe more maybe less depending on what's going on in life but yes. it's free. free it's one of these things that are free any special yeah that's that one sorry permanent visa fixed for per year i don't andrew uh every five years which permanent visa andrew uh feeder hot chocolate i did no more. more I'm an expat and I teach Bisayan to other hopeless expats. You never know, Mike. Yeah. Okay, Bisayan Kano. You should start a YouTube channel teaching people how to speak Bisayan. Yeah. I'm based out of Cebu, but spend spending Week the week in Duma. Duma. All okay. right. Enjoy Duma getting. Do you miss the Titi Bar in Vegas, Mike? No. No. Not really. Oh, Mike's never booby been bar. Yet. The booby bar. Ah, oh, you've been in the bar in Vegas. Yeah, of course. God, that's why there's so many ladies going to the dance, dance, dance. <laughs> I know. I have one fifty people in each country, and I. Guys, I never been in the bar. Yeah. Yes, fifty in each country is selected countries. Well. That that's good for you, Andrew. I'm glad you have one. Mike, how hard is it getting beef, lamb, and bones for bone broth over here? Bones are easy to get. Mm -hmm. uh, you can buy beef, uh, lamb, sheep. I really I haven't seen much lamb. Yeah. But you can get beef here and bones. Beef. Yeah. Yeah, we feed our bones to the dog. Don't waste <laughs> we don't waste bones in soup. They don't waste. We put it, we give it to the dogs. In Cebu. They're in Cebu. Mm -hmm. Hey Drew, what's up? Me again, Mike. Cell phone. Are, so, are they mainly Wi-Fi or do not must have data included? You have to uh, connect to uh, data yeah. as you're walking around. Uh, if you somewhere that has Wi-Fi, no Wi-Fi. Some of the stores no Wi-Fi. Some yeah. some have. Some have. Some restaurants have. So you need to load your phone to use your data. Yeah, you have yeah. to have. Uh, load for data except yes. it's free data yeah you can use the like facebook right facebook's free data yeah. so section 13 quota visa better than 13 a say yes of course it is dude but mm -hmm. you're being really dumb here uh for somebody who has a quota visa uh, you're making some dumb comments here uh not everyone can get one 50 a year per country 50 a year and very expensive so it's only for, for the elite and privileged and i don't think you're an elite and privileged i think you're just talking yes uh beef is hard to find in cebu not really no it's everywhere it's every, uh, every market has it landers has a landers. ton of beef. yeah hotel recommendations for cebu i'm coming in june the quest hotel we are staying here in the quest hotels cost 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 
Quest, well, Host, Quest Hotel is a good for us. Yeah. It depends on you guys if you want. It's good. It has a pool. It's, great yeah, it's staff. just near at the mall. Also. Short walk over to Ayala Mall. Cab stand out front here. Yes. Uh, when you get in a cab here, the the valet writes down the cab number and your room number. And then if you have any problems with that cab, yeah, you tell when you get back to the hotel, you tell them and they'll bar that cab from servicing mm -hmm. uh the hotel. So you get you get good service here. Sean, thanks for the super sticker. Shout out to Sean. Thank you so much for the super sticker you gave us. Woo! Uh, okay, I meant in regular grocery stores, uh, not here at all. Mm -hmm. Or is it pork? Well, you know, we live in Dumaguete. I can get beef at, at Robinson's, at, at um, Hypermart, Hypermart. Uh, Bellcrest, a small store mm -hmm. um, that has beef. You get beef everywhere. Is it yes. a, a top? It's not top quality. It's not top of the line, you know, $25, $30 a pound beef, mm -hmm. but it's beef. You know, it depends what you're going to do with it. If I make sloppy joes, ground beef, I use the ground beef here, mix a little bit of uh, uh, pork, uh, ground pork with it, and you're adding the sloppy joe mix. It's, uh, you know, if you're looking for a, uh, a ribeye steak, one inch thick, juicy, you have to get that in the big cities, in the restaurants. Can you buy a bag of ice? Yes. Uh, yes, they have also. The bag, you can buy bags of ice. Um, the one place where you get sick is buying ice from ice smaller places. Ice. And what they're using is regular tap water to make the ice. Mm -hmm. And as the ice melts, you're drinking uh, uh, bad water. It's better you make your own. Make your own. Yeah. 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 Sorry, I've got appointment with my yes, attorney is coming here. Yes, dear. We have an attorney coming here at nine o'clock. So we're going to cut off at about 10 minutes before nine. Okay, I'm back out, uh, out going, out okay, going tide I'm... nine to 10 30. And so we're night fish. Oh, you're, you fish with the tide. Wow. I, I know nothing about all that in and out tide stuff. It seems like doing a hotel stay in Cebu is a good fit. Mm -hmm. uh, you look at the weather and decide when to go on the fly. Plus, you can try, try different, different hotels. hotels. Will you do a hotel review? We reviewed the Quest. It's the yeah. only hotel I stay in. We got a video on the Quest Hotel. Um, it's it's fine. It services all our uh, needs. Needs, yeah. I'm hungry. Can Janet make some of her famous chili? I never chili. knew. I never knew she made chili. A chili? What kind of chili do you want? The ones? I don't know. I don't know. Chili, chili in the can we buy. Yeah. Landers and SNR require a paid membership, right? Yes, yes, yes. it does. It's about seven to ten dollars for yeah, yearly membership. Savings. Yeah, I think the members also in Landers, so fifty percent they take it off the membership. Yeah, that, the yeah. second time she gets fifty percent off. Uh, you guys are great. Give me something to dream about in the future. Yeah, come on over for vacation. Yeah, man. come on here in the Philippines. Oh. Robert, oh. thank you for the super sticker, guys. Hello, Mike and Janet. Enjoy you too. Keep up the live show. You are both honest, positive, and funny. Shout out to Robert. Thank you for the super sticker of this. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank Hello. you, Robert, so much. We really appreciate those. I'm on. I'm in Dumaguete now, and the food here is much better. You have a lot more options sure. and variety than it's very than Cebu. Depends where in Cebu, you know, in the mall. I think the other way around. There's so many more options, but I live in Dumaguete. Yeah. So yeah. maybe it's because you're traveling there and I'm traveling here that we think it's more options. There's no Burger King in McDonald. Uh, it's no Burger King in Dumaguete. Dumaguete. I know Mike's missed in. Uh, yeah. Yeah. If but I, not good for that always burger. I haven't had it yet. <laughs> Not always not good food for that burger pin. I've been in Cebu five months since I've had an inch and a half ribeye, which I like to cook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you that might be a special order. You go find some butcher and special order at Australian beef or something. Yeah. Yeah. So enjoy there That's in Duma. It. My neighbor sells ice for six, six pesos, pesos each, but they use cheese. drinking water. Yeah. Yeah. It's it if you if you know who's making the ice. 
you're, yeah, but what if, what if attorney is going to be 45 minutes late? Say, no, he's always on time. <laughs> I might recommend uh, Costa Bella Resort in Cebu for your hotel stay. Yeah, but we're, we're right here in the heart of um, Cebu City Business Cebu District. City. Uh, our meetings are with uh, Heidi at CNG Consultant. Yes. Uh, we're meeting John Sonomo. He's staying in the same hotel, but his business is right down the street. Mm -hmm. And we meet friends over at Ayala Mall. So this is the perfect location for us. Yeah, yeah. You just, you can walk. Thanks for the advice, brother. Heading to Cebu in a few weeks. Enjoy your stay. Price yes. isn't too bad at the Quest either. I see. No, it's. I don't think it's bad. But you can find cheaper, but it yes. depends on your budget. If you're on vacation, the Quest is great. Mm -hmm. So how far is Heidi's office from the Quest? <laughs> we, we yesterday, it. we just met for lunch, and then we did the video outside the restaurant. So we, it was about Two kilometer, three, three kilometer. less than three kilometers away from uh, where we're staying. Yes. She, her office is being built in Robinson Mall. They're, re, they're building a brand new office in Robinson Mall. Heidi, uh, Andrew stopped it. Yeah. The cap. Yeah, I'm going to go here for a second. Yeah. Just get rid of, I just banned him anyway. I banned Andrew. Hello, everyone from Austin, Texas. How you doing, buddy? Uh, I'm talking about international cruising, cruise cuisine, and having a lot of restaurants to pick uh, in one place. Dumas seem very fun. Yeah, there is. There's a lot of guys or people have restaurants. Yes. Um, you know, German, and uh, there's a Japanese restaurant, mm -hmm. and you know, there's Korean restaurants. It's a business. Uh, Casablanca yes. is a great restaurant on the boulevard. Uh, so San Ravel is a local restaurant. Many, many different places to eat. You're so right about that. So what happens? Who got shot? What actually happens if you know? Uh, a foreigner got shot at, at a nightclub. Uh, talked about this in the beginning. Uh, watch the replay and you'll get that. I have a link in the description. There's four different links uh, that will tell the story also. But um, a guy was in a nightclub. He got in an argument with somebody. And uh, at the end of the story, out outside in the driveway uh the the foreigner was shot and killed by a rapper uh, uh the rapper was arrested and charged with murder and the foreigner he passed you guys have 25 cent buku there 25 peso buku there in cebu and behold it's 40. Mm -hmm. it's, in dumaguete it's cheap yes book is cheap foods street foods cheap in dumaguete don't eat fast food there. Uh, don't eat fast food here in the it's states, safe. but can't beat a Whopper at Burger King. I know when you haven't had one in months and months and months and months and months and months, it's very good. Whopper Waterfront Hotel. Yes, that's where it happened. Yeah. And the American Embassy, you know, the consulate is there. They have a casino there. They got a great hotel, great uh, buffet there, and they have this dance club, nightclub. Hello, everyone. Manny, how you doing, buddy? Hello, Manny. See you. Damn another band yeah i you know i'm i pulling the trigger today i have friends but my wife and all the filipinos in the province don't just associates it it so may so just it, be it here may just be here yeah i you know everybody's different every community different but everybody has friends yes. you know it could be a cousin that's a friend you know it could be the sister that's the best friend uh i think some of these trolls are getting banned only to return at some point. Yes, that's so true. I check them out. I look at their, I click on them and I look how long they've been on, uh, their Google account's been active and it's like a day, some are hours. So it's hard to get rid of them. Uh, moral of the story, you never know who you're talking to. Be humble. That's right. Correct. Very, very true. Hello, everyone from Western New York State. Hello to you, TW. Hello to you. I never eat out. Home cooking cheaper. Yeah, yeah. but but Janet, Janet works so hard, I take her out. Hi, Mike. Uh, in town and would like to have dinner with you if you 
and get if some you are a tutelage. If you would be gentle, appreciate be one day newbie here. Oh, thank you for newbie here. Newbie. Where where are you a newbie at? Are you Dumaguete or Cebu? I don't have time in Cebu. I'm sorry. Uh, good morning, Janet and Mike. Hello to you, GM. Trolls count as views too. Well, yeah, the, they do count. It's it's when they just keep going on and on and yes. on, man. And um, you know, I let them on, and then I ignore them for a little bit, and then they just more and more. Um, I could time them out, uh, which is what I should do. Mm -hmm. I've haven't had a Burger King, McDonald's, etc. in years. My choice, but Wendy's chili is kryptonite. Yeah, Maybe there's. Chili. I heard there's a Wendy's in Elo Elo, and that's the reason we're going up there. I'm going to take a 10 hour motorcycle ride just to get a double Those cheeseburger. Rides for you there, going there. <laughs> I understand. All right, guys. Sweet. Thanks for all your hard work. Great channel. Thank you. Thank you so much. If you are not here, guys. So, everybody, uh, again, the newsletter uh, Mike's Philippine Retirement, send me. A request saying you want to receive the newsletter and you'll get the next one uh as for uh consultations you know i, I think got eight emails in the last week about consultations yes you have to go to my website and book a consultation and get all the information about that uh i still answer questions you send me an email i'll try and answer a question or two from you there's no charge for that send me a, a question on messenger is hard uh, because i get so many messages there if you have a question that you really need an answer to and it's a one question or two send it to my email if you want to have a consultation you want to talk for an hour or so and have follow-up questions to your questions uh click on my website and in the website just google mike's philippine retirement and it'll pop up and go on the website. All right, let me see here. We got a lot of comments come rolling in. Uh, my girlfriend and behold works full time. Uh, when I came here, I never thought I would like a full time working woman is best. Yeah, I I'm me I'm needy. So Janet had to quit working. Oh, Wendy's frosty. Yes, so good. My favorite is coleslaw from KFC. Yeah, that's good too. Now you guys making me hungry. I need the newsletter. <laughs> Send me a request, Mike's Philippine Retirement at gmail um, dot com. My email address is at the bottom in the description of any video. Yes. Be kind to trolls. They are poor, lonely creatures. Yes. Somebody has to stay home with mama. Mm -hmm. Please. Yes, okay. Oh a ten-hour ride for a Wendy's burger. That's the devotion. <laughs> it, it might be a twenty-hour plane flight. You know, uh, what's your email? Mike's Philippine Retirement at gmail.com. Yes, it's at the bottom of the description of all videos. Imagine that another rapper in prison. Go figure. Guess they're all the same. They're not all the same don't don't take a broad brush and paint everybody with that that's such mm -hmm. such a bad thing to say uh people say that in age gap communities people say that about uh expats all being broke everybody's different some some rappers probably are some of the nicest people in the world and some aren't and some businessmen working on wall street are the nastiest pricks in the world also so uh you know how many clergy uh were convicted of child molesting so don't throw a one brush covers everybody it's a bad habit all right guys you, janet says i need to end so we're going to say goodbye thank you everybody how did you like janet's announcing the super chats do you like that or thank you guys <laughs> do you think she should do that more should I get her yes. more and more drinking chocolate before the live stream? <laughs> what do you think? Leave what me some think, comments. Guys, I need to make a new cluster here. Uh, uh, someone nice. yelling, hey, Mike, hey, Mike. Hey, Mike, it's Mike. I met you at uh, Jollibee. Hope you enjoyed Oh, yeah, there. Mike and me, seeing City. Yeah, that's one, the guy in Jollibee. Then I'm wall, 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 remember? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Momo, mo, mo. okay. Yeah. How you doing? Hello to you, Mike. I know you are the same name, Mike. Mike and Mike. Yes. Thank you both. Uh, uh, you have a good, enjoyable, blessed day. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Tom. Thank you so much. Janet Mike. is great at announcing. Take care. <laughs> it was fun. Thank you so much, It was guys. fun. Thank you, guys. Uh, more Janet, less Mike, of oh, Mike. course. No, we never, we it's fine to Mike. boil water from the tap and then we get it to, is it? No, I would not. It is fine to boil water not. from the tap I, of the maggette. I, 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 for me, I drink. Uh, right from the tap. Yeah, right from the tap from but the she's, maggette. But she's Filipina but, and she's a lifetime yeah. used to drinking it. You come here. Yeah, you can boil it also. Yeah, but the. The, the mineral water, right? In yes. the five gallon jar. It's 20 pesos, 25 pesos. You know, it's change and to be safe. Mm -hmm. So For you, I use the, the, the drinking water to make my car, everything. I don't, nothing, you know. So uh, better to be safe than sorry. Yes, because so you cannot be sick. You get sick in the stomach and diarrhea and such. Oh my God, mm -hmm. terrible thing. And they don't have toilet paper here. Be careful. Yes, I like Janet's reaction to the super chat. There, are people liking that. Yes, Janet, cheer, cheerleading is great. Keep the hot chocolate stock up. Well, we're gonna go to Landers yeah. before we I leave. Need a hot chocolate, <laughs> Janet rocks on the super chats. Great. Good night, all. Good night. Thank good you, night, uh, all you guys. So rum, thank you so much. Rum is good. Thanks again. Have a good day. Have a good Notes day off too. the cuff. More hot chocolate. I love these comments here. Yes, Janet, do all the super chat announcements. All right, Janet, you got a yeah, new job. Yeah, I will job. be announcing a shout out to all you guys here. <laughs> I'll get a bottle downstairs. <laughs> yes, yeah. Careful on the drinking water and the ice cubes. Yes. Uh, thanks, guys. Until you get used to everything here. See you all. Thank you all very much. Thank it you was guys. fun. Until next time. Until love next you all. Time.